Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio. I'm here with Ginny, who's had some good results here in the clinic. And I asked Ginny, kind of twisted her arm a little bit, to sit down with me for a minute and, and kind of go through the improvement that she's seen. And uh, I'm wondering, would you mind just sharing a little bit with everyone? No, I would love to. OK. Um, well, since I started working with Dr. Ruscio about, I guess it was in May, so what's that, about five or six months yeah, ago now? Five or six months. Yeah, uh, I came in with hypothyroid um, symptoms and high numbers. And since being put on the regimen to sort of clean that up and take down the inflammation, my numbers are back down where they should be, and I've had some improvements with the types of uh, behaviors I have and, and symptoms uh, that are now gone. And, and one of the things you had mentioned, like you just said, the thyroid was looking better. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing you had just mentioned before, which in the camera on, was kind of your sugar cravings. Yeah. Were, yeah. were a lot better. Yeah. The, the dietary regimen of uh, pacing, how I eat during the day, every few hours, what I ate, how I pair the food, what I eliminated, um, have now sort of, I'm still practicing it even though we're past sort of the, <laughs> sure. the hump. Constant <laughs> and, practice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not 100%, but uh, it's very uh, practicable and doable. So I'm noticing that I'm not craving sugars, uh, or, or let's say the sugar level is now even, so I'm not really craving foods and snacking and e eating inappropriate times. Sure, sure. And yeah. then another thing that you noticed that I thought was a, a nice kind of clinical win for us was the hot flashes right. got a lot better too. Right, right. Yeah, because I'm, I'm smack in the middle. I should be over uh, with the, the menopause, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I'm not. But um, yeah, I d haven't had as many flas uh, hot flashes. Uh, there have been times when I may have run low on my medication and uh, not had it that he had prescribed for me or given to me and I would have hot flashes. Sure. So then when I go back on the medication again, then or the supplements again, sure. then I uh, don't have the hot flashes. So it's been a good test to sure. run out periodically. Sure, sure. So a few things with, with Ginny that were going on. Uh, Ginny's conversion of T4 to T3 was a little bit off and that's where giving her some uh, T3 is very helpful. And we did a low dose of bioidentical HRT for our female hormones, which seemed to be very helpful, and that helped with the hot flashes. And Ginny's adrenals were a little bit out of balance, and in supporting the adrenals, we really helped with energy, which is another thing that has improved, but also with sugar cravings uh, and satiation. And um, another thing, or another two things that were really tied into this whole piece were her gut, which getting her off gluten and, and some of these other foods is really helpful, and then also clearing out an overgrowth of H. pylori, or I guess you could say an H. pylori infection, helped stop some of this low-level inflammation that was kind of just waning or, or draining her, her body. So overall, you've done, you've done great. I think we still have a few more little steps before we're at 100%, but you've done great so far, and thank you so much for taking a minute to talk oh, thank with us. You.